Hi guys, Lucy here. Thanks so much for clicking on my video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I got my hair that pink color you saw in the beginning. I'm using an old 613 wing wig that I made and I was wearing this platinum for a while. I also darkened the roots, but this is a pretty old frontal. I just wanted to try something new. So when I looked in my stash, I had a few colors that I could have used to do. I was really going for a rose gold color, so I used a door honey brown and petal pink and I'm going to do the watercolor method using hot water as you can see I put the pink petal and I also did a little bit honey brown in this water but for some reason it did not take I didn't get a clip of it but it just it did not turn pink so right here you'll see that I had to add raging red to this now I didn't want it to be quite this pink but it's okay it still turned out pretty good since still was cute so it's fine I'll be showing you guys how I installed this wig now it isn't really a tutorial because I don't feel like I did the best application but just to give you an idea of how I actually got this look you can watch the next following clips okay so as you can see I have on some braids just braided my hair back I'm gonna put this wig on I don't have a stocking cap but that's okay I've seen tutorials where they don't use a stocking cap bald cap all of that and this is coming right off anyway so I'm not even gonna go through all of that Ooh. okay all right so I'm gonna situate this properly on my head and we're gonna glue this down with some either I have this bold hold. I've I had this a while. I actually lost it and I found it again. So I may be using this because for some reason I can't get this guy to work for me. I don't know, I must be doing it wrong. And I also have the spray and it just never works. So I wanna try with this and we'll see how this goes. Okay, I just wanted to come in and say what I was doing. I just applied the bold hole in sections. I started with the top section first. As you can see, I'm just basically spreading the glue around and I'm drying the drying the glue. I only did one layer because I didn't really need this to stick. This is coming right off. And I didn't have a mirror. I was getting kind of frustrated because I didn't have a mirror in front of me, so it was really hard to do this. So I had to actually get up, which is why I didn't really show how I actually applied it because I had to get up and go in the mirror and do it. So I just basically stick down the frontal in sections. I did the top section first. I make sure that's down and then I did the sides. Now I have the baby hairs already out. So it was kind of difficult to get the lace part down without, see, as you can see, I kind of glued the, the baby hairs down a little bit. It was a mess like this i'm not really that good with frontals but i do enjoy playing around with them so we're gonna see if we could get this frontal game if we're gonna try to like learn how to do this a little bit better Listen, oh my God, that was so stressful. Like, I don't think y'all understand. Lace, lace is not my specialty, okay? Like, I absolutely, I hate frontals. I hate frontals because y'all see me struggling. It's just not my cup of tea. It's just not my forte. It ain't my thing, but I love color. I love playing with different looks like this. This is actually one of my first units that I made. So it's a little rough around the edges. I kind of like cut the lace wrong. So like putting it on is like a headache. So this side, I don't want y'all to look at this side. I shouldn't have said that. Okay, you know what? I'm going to delete that. Anyway, so I want some, 
I want to set this area. I want some height at the front. And I want like a flip. This is going to be, I'm going to keep it straight. I'm going to keep it straight, but I want this flip bang action going on. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set it. I'm going to set it and forget it. Just going to grab some sections. So I have, I have a mirror over there. It's the only place to put the mirror. So forgive me if it's annoying that I'm looking sideways. I'm trying to figure out. See, I don't want too small of a section because I don't want it to be curly. So I'm trying to grab a bigger piece. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I had so much fun creating this. I hope you like it. Please make sure to subscribe and like and share my channel. And also comment, let me know if, let me know how I did. So bye, until next time.